Black man's search for a mystery girl he glimpsed on a train has become a web phenomenon. 26-year-old Keir Moffat regretted not asking out a woman with a blue hairband he described as just gorgeous after their brief encounter. So he set up a Facebook page to try and trace her. Now, sadly, he's called off the search because it's proved fruitless. But can we empathise with poor old Keir? Have you ever seen a good one slip through your fingers? Say though, I think that's lovely. Isn't that romantic? Do you think yeah. so? Yeah. Well, she clearly doesn't think so though. She's not got in touch with him. Well, so. I know. Well, no, you'd be slightly worried about getting in touch. But I think it's, I think it's really romantic that, and I'd love that. And the thing is, if that was me, if I spotted a bloke and turned, thought, oh, he's absolutely gorgeous. If I was single, of course. <laughs> I would, I won't be you I, would, um, <laughs> I would definitely be back on that train every minute of the day. I'd make sure I was on the train. In fact, I might go on his train and wear a blue headband. <laughs> I, <might have> <laughs> I wear a blue headband going, it's, it's me, like, it's, it's me. It's you. <laughs> or you'd be like Carol McGiffin. Oh, He's even younger than Mark. Oh, no, 26, you've ruined Colleen. it now. No, I can't do that. I've, I can't go out with someone I can give birth to. That's not right. <laughs> Not right. <laughs> I am. Um, well, actually, my son Matt, who's 21, a couple of years ago, he um, he came down to London w when I was down here to work, and I said, "Oh, I'll take you. We'll go somewhere nice for dinner." And he blew me out for this dinner because he'd been on a train, and he'd um, he'd sp spotted this girl, and he came back and he went, "Oh, I spotted this girl, and she was so gorgeous." He said, "Our bags sort of got tangled with each other, and that was like the bag tangling moment over." Oh. And then they got off like on sliding doors, and, and off they went. And he said. I just, he said, I really, really did feel this connection with her and everything. And he said, I just, I, I, you know, what, what a shame. Anyway, he walked out to get me something from the chemist from the hotel on Carnaby Street. And he heard this girl go, excuse me, I saw you earlier on the train. <gasps> <gasps> and it was the, she was a French girl and it was the girl off the train, which he thought was really romantic and ended up blowing me out and having dinner with her. I just thought she was a bit of a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but that was it, so, oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. He didn't end up with her, then? No, no, she was a stalker. I think, <laughs> the thing is, it's just like a sliding door, isn't it? You know, like, on the train, well, yeah? Yeah, you know, yeah. you go, oh, and then somebody disappears into a toilet, and you go, who was oh. he? <laughs> anyway, um, the thing is, mine was, I was on a motorway, and uh, I, there was this gorgeous man, a bit Robert Redfrish, you know, like, Redfrish? <laughs> <laughs> With blonde hair and blue eyes and a soft top, and, and I spotted him. <laughs> With his car. Yeah. Good. A convertible. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And he was up, and I spotted him. So I started to follow him down the motorway. And I followed him forever and ever and ever. And then he just whizzed off, and I was completely lost. <laughs> Oh, what a lucky, lucky escape for Robert Reverish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I can smell an injunction. Okay, make sure you don't let this one get out.